How to check the earthing using a multimeter? To check earthing using a multimeter, you can follow these steps. Please note, safety should be a top priority when working with electricity. Make sure to turn off the power supply to the circuit you are testing and use appropriate safety equipment. Set the multimeter. Turn on your multimeter and set it to the ohms or resistance mode. This mode is usually represented by the Greek letter omega, omega. Prepare the multimeter leads. Insert the black lead into the COM, common, socket and the red lead into the socket marked with the omega symbol, omega. These sockets may vary depending on your multimeter model. Disconnect power. Ensure that the power supply to the circuit or equipment you want to test is turned off and disconnected to avoid any accidents. Touch the earth ground. To check earthing, you need to touch the black, COM, lead to a known earth ground. This could be a metal water pipe, a metal rod driven into the ground, grounding rod, or a grounding conductor in an electrical panel. Make sure the ground is a legitimate earth ground. Touch the test point, touch the red lead, omega, to the point in question that you want to test for earthing. This could be a metal casing, a grounding wire, or any part of the electrical system that should be grounded. Read the resistance, the multimeter will display a resistance value in ohms, omega. If the reading is very low, close to zero, it indicates a good earth ground. A high or infinite resistance reading suggests poor or no earth ground. Remember that a low resistance reading doesn't necessarily guarantee a perfect earth ground. It's essential to consult a professional electrician if you have concerns about the quality of the grounding system in your electrical installation, especially in critical applications. Always prioritize safety when working with electrical systems, and if you are unsure about any aspect of the testing process, consult a qualified electrician.